Hey guys, Shane Storms with TheDroidModderX.com. I've shown you guys how to unlock the bootloader, how to root and install recovery on your HTC One, and I am so ready to start flashing ROMs on this device. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Android Revolution HD. This is pretty much a stock Sense 5 experience, and it's pretty easy to install. We'll go ahead and get started now. Also from here, you'll want to go ahead and power down your device. Keep in mind that you'll need to have an unlocked bootloader, you'll need to be rooted and have custom recovery installed. So here we can just restart, hit restart and go ahead and press the volume down button to reboot into recovery. From here you'll go down to recovery and hit the power button to boot into TeamWin Recovery Project. So one thing that Google has started to do in Android 4.2.2 is they have included app data in the recovery. Um, Android Revolution HD is based on 4.1.2 so it may not have that feature yet whenever you restore your Google account. You want to make sure that you back up everything here. So we'll go into backup and we'll swipe to make an Android backup. This is going to take several minutes so what I'll do is I will step away and we'll come back as soon as this is finished. Okay so when the backup is all finished, installing the ROM from here is pretty simple. We're just going to go to wipe and this is going to wipe data, cache, and Davit cache. So full factory reset. As soon as that's finished, we'll go back and install. Then we're going to go to our download folder, which is where the Android Revolution HD should be. If you have any, uh, if you have any other modifications, uh, there's performance mods that you can do. There's all kinds of customization mods that you can do. You'll probably want to boot into Android Revolution HD and then come back to Twerp and flash those after you fully boot it into the actual ROM itself. So we'll go ahead and flash this. G apps are included so we don't have to flash those separately. This is going to bring up the Aroma installer. Okay so we'll go ahead and click Next. We'll agree to the terms of service and click Next. Okay uh, you can wipe your data. We've already wiped data, so uh, we'll install without wiping data since we've already done that. And you'll select your carrier here. Uh, this is the international version, but they also have support for AT&T, T-Mobile, and HTC One in Canada. So we'll go to Next. This is where you can choose your Google applications, and we'll just go with the ones that are selected. This is where you can choose custom applications and once again I'll just go with the ones that are selected there. They have several tweaks here. So I will go ahead and select the build.prop tweaks, the SQ light tweaks, we'll go with the cedar. There's several enhancements here that you can choose from. We'll go with the advanced power menu battery icon percentage indicator and we'll install. Give us about five minutes to install and then we'll reboot the device into Android at Revolution HD. When everything's finished we'll be at this menu go ahead and select next next then you can reboot the system. This should reboot you into Android Revolution HD so I'll be sure to include links in the description for the ROM file itself as well as a full Android Revolution HD ROM review so you want to be sure to check that out as well. Thanks guys for watching. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.